Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Welcome to episode five, series one of Kate Percy's Cook with Kate Facebook Live. So every day this week, we've been doing, we've been live streaming at midday, um, cooking up some healthy lunches, um, healthy snacks. Today, we've got a bit of a Friday treat, um, and we're going to cook some Anzac cookies. I just made some. Um, just now, just in case they didn't, um, didn't cook in time uh, when, when we make them. But basically, Anzac cookies are delicious, delicious biscuits that are kind of soft on the inside and crispy on the outside. And they're basically, again, we've been focusing on minimal ingredients. So these cookies um, are butter, coconut, oats, um, a bit of sugar and a bit of golden syrup, basically. So really really simple but very very tasty cookies um so today every day this week we've been dedicating the live session to um to to, to something to do with the coronavirus basically um we've had yeah getting out there being active and smiling at people and, and saying hello uh, which makes such a lot of difference um, yesterday was dedicated to those who've been in quarantine already for, for weeks um, and today I thought it would be um, worth mentioning um, all the, the, the small businesses and independent shops um, because they're really really suffering. You, you go to the supermarket and there's nothing in there, you go into the independent shops and actually They've got everything you need. So uh, they're sitting there, they're waiting for your business and they are open for business. So let's see if we can um, we can give them some of our business. Today we went to um, our local uh, veg shop on the way back from our run and I got some fantastic, really fantastic veg uh, for this evening. So um, there we are, that's today's dedication. Did anyone clap last night at eight o'clock? Wasn't that just... Incredible. The whole of Bristol was just resounding with um, cheering and clapping, pots and pans. It was it was quite a special moment, wasn't it? Um, so I just thought I'd mention that. So just as an introduction, um, I'm Kate Percy, founder of Kate Percy's Real Fast Food. Uh, the recipe we're going to do today is from Go Faster Food for Your Active Family. That's a book that I wrote a couple of years ago and it's really um, packed full of quick, easy recipes that are actually really, really tasty as well um, for kind of aimed at, at families who are busy, who've got kids doing lots of sport, um, who just want to fit in really good, healthy uh, eating uh, into, their, into their active lifestyle. Everything I do is about great taste, it's about smile on the face of friends and family and the right type of get up and go energy. So today's um, Anzac cookies are, they kind of, I, I wonder whether you've got recipes that remind you of people. Um, these Anzac cookies are, remind me of my granddad. So my granddad was, um, he was put on a, uh, a ship aged, 14, I think, uh, for Australia, on his own, youngest of, uh, of, of uh, seven children, I think. Um, and he was put on a ship um, to make a man of him, you know, his father said it'll make a man of him. So off he went to Australia and he ended up um, picking sugarcane, doing all sorts of things, but also fighting for the Australian army. And he fought at Gallipoli in, in World War One. Um, and that's where these biscuits come from. Um, so the Anzacs are the ones who, who basically the Australian um, army who, who, sorry, you're saying something, I'm being corrected on my history here. And, oh sorry, and New Zealanders, so, so Australian and New Zealanders who fought in World War I. Um, so um, I'm always being corrected on my history. So these cookies were made by um, anxious uh, mothers and daughters um, in, in, and wives um, in Australia and they were packed up in boxes and sent out to, to Gallipoli to, to, to feed their, their loved ones out there. 
So they keep for a long time, they're really tasty, and they're full of energy. Uh, they have got sugar in them, they have got butter in them, but as I say, it's a Friday treat. Um, so let's get cooking. Um, what you have to do, first of all, is you have to take your butter. Um, I'm actually doing half quantities um, of the recipe because uh, I don't want to waste food at the moment. Um, so I've got, um, uh, it, normally it should be 85 grams of butter, so I've got half that. Um, I'm also going to put in, um, it, it would normally be 35 grams of um, corn syrup, and I'm going to put in half of that, so that's going to be um, like 17, 17, 18 uh, grams. There we go. We've got 18. Um, and I'm just going to melt that um, slowly on the hob. While that's melting, we'll get the other ingredients ready. Uh, we've got um, some really nice jumbo. If you've got to use jumbo oats in this recipe uh, because um, otherwise they just go a bit sort of flat and just not nearly as nice. They haven't got the right texture. So we want uh, 60 grams of jumbo oats. So I'm going to uh, go for 30 because I'm doing half half the, the quantity. So 30 jumbo oats. Uh, again, 30 um, desiccated coconut. And whoop, there we go. 30 desiccated coconut. It doesn't have to be all that exact. I'm just going to, while we're doing that, um, go on to, uh, on to the live feed to see whether anyone's joined us. Here we go. Pop onto that. If I can do that. Oh, hi Vivian. How are you today? Hope you're um, enjoying the weather, um, mostly because I don't think, I think this might be the last day of the, of the lovely weather. Um, just while this is melting, we've got uh, 30 grams of oats, 30 grams of um, desiccated coconut. We want um, about 35 grams of just plain flour. So in the normal recipe, it would be 70 grams. We're going halves. Uh, otherwise, we just eat all the biscuits ourselves and there's um, only a few of us here. So the kids aren't here. Um, they're all in isolated in different places and also we want a pinch of salt yes and my, my children are all all in different places unfortunately so I'm just here with Mark um, and a friend as well so um, yeah I do miss them I do miss them but hopefully we'll be able to see them soon we've been doing zoom has anyone been doing zoom that uh, works really really well uh, so we've been having video conferences on Zoom and we've been using, well I've been trying to use house party but uh, we'll, get, we'll get used to that soon. And then I've got 30 grams of sugar as well. So our butter is almost melted. Um, if you go onto our website you will find, um, so the website's gobites.com, um, you'll find all sorts of free resources uh, like this one here which uh, talk about different um, nutrients, different macronutrients. So this one is the power of protein. Here we've got um, hydration, all about hydration. And you'll have a, an explanation of, of, of how each nutrient works in the body. Um, and then some practical information uh, uh, of, sort of how it will work around sport, uh, around sport. And then always a recipe at the end. Um, and also some, some, some details about our 5 by 2025 initiative. So the, our 5 by 2025 is that, just, it's, just a, it's just a concept that by 2025, every young person who leaves home has five recipes in their belt, five nourishing recipes. And I'm not talking cakes and um, well, maybe, maybe you should be able to make one, one cake, one lot of biscuits. But um, it's, 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 it's recipes to actually um, feed, just nourish yourself properly. So main course recipes. So I don't know what your five, top five would be. Um, 
in, in terms of recipes, uh, but I'm sure everyone's got different, a different view of what their family recipes are, um, but all good, good nourishing stuff. Uh, and also, there's also details in, in here. These are all free, free downloads on the website. Details in here uh, about um, our relationship with the Youth Sport Trust. So we've got 50p, every time one of these books gets sold, 50p goes to the Youth Sport Trust charity. And every time um, our go bikes get sold, again, a, a penny a pack goes to, the, a penny a small pack goes to the Youth Sport Trust charity. Okay, so our butter is nicely melted with the uh, golden syrup. Um, we're going to add a, going to stir in a little teeny bit of um, uh, bicarbonate of soda. That helps the biscuits rise a little. So we're going to mix that with a, a teeny, teeny bit of water. So we've got about half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. I'm just dissolving that in the boiling water and then I'm going to add that to the to the butter and golden syrup mixture I'm going to stir that in it starts bubbling there we go stir that in and then I'm going to stir the other ingredients in now so that is literally flour um, uh, flour coconut and um, uh, really lovely big jumbo oats. So I'm just stirring that up, if you can see in there. So, mm -hmm. there we go. And that is basically it. So you've got your, your cookies there, of your cookie mixture. I'm just going to get a um, baking tray. So I've, gre I've greased this baking tray uh, and I've also Put the oven on to 160 it doesn't need to be too hot because it just wants to rise really slowly so you get that crispy as i said crispy outside and a soft inside um, and then i'm going to just get my fingers all a bit dirty so here we go i'm going to make little walnut sized about about the size of about the size of good bites in fact um, about the size of a walnut, a go bite, um, size biscuits. You can make them a smaller or bigger, it depends, you know, it doesn't make any difference. Um, depends how big you like your biscuits when you eat them with your cookies. I'm just going to make them like this. And I, but actually, they do spread out quite a lot in the oven. So you want to. Um, if you can see there, I'm, I'm, I'm actually uh, leaving quite a big gap between between the the, um, the biscuits. So, um, yeah, the cookies are going to be socially distanced from each other, not two meters, but it's all relative. I'd say about, um, I would say about inches apart <laughs> so I'm just going to make 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 up the, the, this mixture the, the recipe makes about 12 to 15 cookies and um, we have got here what have we got one two three four five six we've got seven it makes seven so there we go the kids are like doing this because it's really really messy um, most kids like to create a bit of mess in the kitchen. It makes it all a lot more fun. And I think that's just a kind of, we're going to be focusing a little bit more on cooking with kids next week. Because I'm thinking next week the weather's not going to be that nice. Um, and we're going to be one week into this lockdown. And I think it's, we're all going to find it a lot harder. Um, but one piece of advice I have on cooking with kids is you've just got to let them make a mess because um, otherwise it's not fun. <laughs> so I'm going to pop these in the oven and they will, the oven is nice and hot, that's about 160. They'll cook for, um, it depends on your oven, but between 15 and 20 minutes. Um, and then what you need to do is take them out 
leave them to cool for five minutes because if you actually um, if you actually uh, uh, try to get them out of the pan earlier than that they tend to break so you need to just leave them to cool so that they can stick together a bit and then put them on to a, a, a rack like this so if you just joined who have we got Gillian hello hello I like the social distance of each business a lot of peeps could learn from this Absolutely, there is a lot of um, uh, flouting of the rules, I would say. Uh, just when we go running, we try to, and, and we go running in the countryside, so there's not that many people, but we try to avoid other runners, and actually most people are really good, but, but some just aren't. Um, for instance, today we passed two amazing, individually, um, in, uh, at different times, uh, we passed a lady running. She must have been, I reckon she was, how old do you reckon she was? In her 80s? Possibly even in her 80s. Um, and she was running, kudos to her, fantastic. Um, but, you know, there are people like that about who are really vulnerable, who aren't staying inside. So it's up to us to really really create that distance and not go too close to each other. Again, when I was talking about the independent shops, um, most shops have got, I know, the veg shop, you can only go in one at a time into the shop, which makes sense. Um, so I think the social distancing is just so important um, and it, it's, it, it, it's quite upsetting to see everybody. But queuing, for instance, our ca local cafe is selling um, takeaway coffee. Um, but there are people queuing literally next door to each other um, to get their coffee, which just defeats the object, doesn't it? Um, anyway, have we got any other joiners? So it's lovely to see you, Gillian. Are you with your, your, um, your boys today? So the other day we had Gillian's uh, two boys uh, on the live stream as well. So Rob is one of our ambassadors. In fact, there's a picture of him in the book. What page is he on, Mark? He's on the last page, isn't he? Here we go. So that's Rob um, there, aged 15, um, skiing competitively. And now he is um, the British slalom champion. And I'm not sure how old he is now, but I reckon he must be 21, 22, something like that. Um, so he's been feeding himself on um, Go Faster food and eating Go Bites for many years now. And it seems to be doing him a whole lot of good. Um, so uh, we're gonna wait for those biscuits to, to cook. Um, have we got any any other comments coming in? Um, I'd love to hear. I would love to hear if you've got recipes like this Anzac um, cookie recipe, which reminds me of my granddad. Um, have you got recipes that remind you of anyone that you cook regularly? Um, I, I always think that there's something special about those recipes. Um, also, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling, are you sort of getting used to being on lockdown? Is it starting to feel like the norm or is it still feeling really unreal? For me, I think it's still feeling unreal. Just every time I go outside to do a bit of, um, a bit of uh, uh, exercise, you know, the streets are empty. I live in the city and the streets are empty. And it's just really, really, really odd. Um, Let's have a look at the biscuits. Oh, they're looking, they're looking good. Um, I think we can, I think we can probably stay online for them to come out of the oven. Um, also, what's your favourite treat? What's your, if you want to cook something that's a treat, but actually not, you haven't got that many ingredients, what would you, what would you cook? And also, what would you like? to like, like me to cook next week. So we're gonna have two days off, Saturday and Sunday. And on Monday, we'll be back with episode six um, of the live streaming. So Gillian says, I made the Spanish cake last night, but it didn't last five minutes after it came out of the oven. We love it. The great thing about the Spanish cake is actually, it keeps for days. 
<laughs> but it is very lovely, isn't it? So yes, it's uh, and it's so easy, just three ingredients. If you want to um, get the recipe for the Spanish cake and you miss the live stream, um, you can go back. Um, it was on Tuesday, so whatever date Tuesday was, the 25th, I think, 24th. Um, so if you scroll up the um, uh, uh, the Facebook feed, you'll find you'll find um, the Spanish cake recipe. Great. So we got anyone else coming in? Not too many today. Not too many today. Well, hopefully. Well, oh yes. World War One, uh, and sent them all the way to Gallipoli. So they did, you know, they did last a long time. Um, um, great. I've just had a message here from John Craig. Good luck with that. Sounds like a fab idea. I'll try and stop by online, but have a few things on later. Well, you can watch it later. Of course, all these videos you can watch um, watch later. You don't have to come in on the live stream. Um, that's great. Thank you, John. <laughs> right, I think we'll take these out. So they literally do not take very long to cook. But if you can see, there we are. Really, really tasty oaty cookies. I'm going to leave these, just move these alongside because these have all uh, cooled down nicely. This one, just eat one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna they are really good. I'm gonna leave those to cool down. Um, I'm gonna be back on Monday with um, I think we're gonna focus on recipes with just a few ingredients, but they're gonna be um, savory recipes, so we're gonna do some really nice soups, stuff that doesn't cost very much money. Julian wants tomato, Julian wants tomato soup. How about the lovely tomato soup next week? A warmer for the weather coming in. Yeah, I think that's right. We need some. We need some some really nice, nourishing, comforting food as well. Because I think next week's going to be difficult for all of us. Um, yeah. Okay. We're going to do the tomato soup next week then, Gillian. Um, again, is, is there any recipes that remind you of someone? That's. I'd love to hear about those. If you have some, some traditional family recipes. That remind you of your 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 parents, your grandparents, um, or maybe remind you of an occasion that that, that you, like a holiday you were on or something. Um, I always feel that there's something special about those recipes. Um, and again, we're going to be live streaming every day next week. We're going to be kind of trying to bring in the children into the kitchen as well. So if you've got any. When I say young children, I don't, you know, I don't mind whether they're two years old or, or 20. If you've got your children at home, bring them into the kitchen and we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll cook up some fun together. The recipe will be posted um, online afterwards, um, which we, that's what we're, all, we're doing every day. But also, if you go on to gobites.com, you can download our resources for free. Um, lots of recipes and lots of information um, on uh, all the different nutrients uh, that we need for our bodies to function properly. Um, we're also going to be next week looking at the immune system and ways that we can really boost our immune system, keep it strong, because for obvious reasons we need to keep our immune system strong. Um, so it's been really lovely. Um, I'm going to get Mark to turn off the... <laughs> He's been distracted. Um, 
Uh, it's been really lovely uh, seeing you today. And if you've got any more questions, just put them in the comments and we'll see you on Monday. Bye.